So Anshi, I know that you love smoothies, but there's something in smoothies that you don't like, right? Yes, bananas. I'm not very fond of bananas. So today I have the perfect recipe for you. We are going to make some strawberry smoothie bowl, but without bananas. Yes. Hello, I'm Khushi and I'm Anshi and today we are going to show you how to make a strawberry smoothie bowl without bananas. But before that, I would like you all to invite to check out our website called drinkpositive.org where you will find some really cool stuff for kids like a fun quiz and even a well illustrated book which you can download. You can check the link in the description box below. So what are the ingredients? So for the strawberry smoothie bowl, we are first going to use strawberries. So here I have some frozen strawberries. It's one and a half cup of frozen strawberries. But you can also use some fresh strawberries. But in that case, you'll have to add ice in it. Then I have sugar over here, one tablespoon of sugar. But you can also add dates or uh, some jaggery in it. And then I have peanut butter. Yes, I love peanut butter. Same. But you can also add almond butter or cashew butter. So we are adding a plant-based nut butter because we are not using bananas. But if you're not like Anshi, you can add bananas in it to make it more thicker. And then we have half a teaspoon of vanilla essence and one cup of plant-based milk. I happen to have some oat milk at home, so I'm using that. But you can use any plant-based milk like cashew milk, coconut milk, almond milk, soy milk. You can also check our YouTube channel for recipes for homemade plant-based milks. And lastly, we have some strawberries, fresh strawberries and some chopped dry fruits for garnishing of the smoothie. Our ingredients have been delivered by Get Moksha and you can check out their link in the description box below to get cruelty free and sustainable products delivered to you anywhere in India. So Anshi, shall we start making our strawberry smoothie bowl? Definitely. Okay, so now first we are going to put the frozen strawberries in the blender. Isn't it great? We just need a blender to make our dish. Done. Done. I'll help you close this. There you go. It's locked. Yes, go ahead. That's enough. Perfect. You can now remove it and see whether it's a puree. Sometimes with frozen strawberries, it takes a little bit more time to make it into a puree. Perfect. Yes, we have a nice puree now. So we are now adding sugar. Some vanilla essence. And your favorite peanut butter. Put it off and then blend again. Yes, off and then blend it. Off. Perfect. Wasn't this easy? Yes. Wow. Can you choose the bowl for garnishing? Which one do you want? I would like the white one. Okay, let's choose the white one then. I'll just keep this aside while we are garnishing it. I'll pour it in the bowl for you, okay? And then you can garnish it. Perfect. 
I would like to give a shout out to our sponsors, The Pollination Project, who is dedicated to building a kinder and more compassionate world by tapping into the creativity and goodness within each one of us. You can check out the link in the description box below. So now Anshi, you can garnish the smoothie the way you like. So I'll leave it up to you. You can use whatever you want. So I have almonds, cashews, walnuts and even raisins for you. We can use anything to garnish. I also put some granola in my smoothie bowls. I love granola or some seeds like watermelon seeds or chia seeds. So you also want to add some strawberries? Yes. So I'll just keep this bowl aside and then you can chop the strawberries the way you like. Yes, you can add them. What is that a smiley? <laughs> Perfect. Let's dig in. Mm. Wow, this is actually nice. Nice. And do you know this is not just tasty, but also better for the environment. Can you guess why? No? no? Let me tell you. So we used some plant-based milk instead of cow milk or dairy milk, right? But dairy milk requires a lot of water. For one liter of dairy milk, we require more than 1000 liters of water. But for oat milk, we just require 50 liters of water. So for this recipe, we just used 12 liters of water to make a strawberry smoothie bowl. But if we would have used dairy milk, we would have required more than 200 liters of water. I know. So this is not just prettier and tastier, but also better for the environment. So if you like this recipe, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, comment and share this recipe. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to drink, drink positive. positive.